right? Trying to get an IQ up there, boy. Yeah, we watched some flight, you know, our IQ dropped watching a basketball game. <laughs> now we got some casual geographic, you know what I'm saying? Get our IQ up. The last video that we reacted to, the uh, top 10 black Air Force animals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that video was crazy. so good. Yeah, so it's seven times animals became serial killers. What animal comes to mind, though? I say a bear. Ooh. A bear could smoke somebody. I Yo, know speaking of a bear, because when I think of a bear, I think of camping. Would you go camping? Like outside in the woods, like with a tent? Like, Hell no. I don't like bugs. I don't like getting <laughs> bit up, nigga. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. Just solely over that, I'm not going to camping, bro. Bro, I hate I'm sorry. bugs too, bro. Like when I'm some calls on me. It's really sad for you. I go hiking, but I ain't going camping. Yeah. So yeah, bear is good. That makes sense. I say like like a like a tiger. I can say that too. Oh, a hippo. There was yeah. a story about some dude that thought like a hippo was his his son or something like that, and no. the hippo ended up like eating him. That's like the same thing when people they try to like take lions and then like try to keep them as pets. Oh yeah, like, like wild yeah, exotic smoked. animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're bugging. You're bugging. But anyway, shout out to Casual Geographic. Yeah. Link to the original video down below. Show some love. The following video contains graphic descriptions of some of the most brutal animal attacks in human history. Mm. Yo. Viewer discretion and a fresh change of clothes. But well, we'll be all right. This deserves a fresh up. change of oh. clothes. Oh. God damn. <laughs> Oh yeah, happy Halloween. True, the true. African wilderness houses some of the most dangerous wildlife found on earth. Mm. But what happens when one of its most feared predators starts hunting humans? In 1898, the British government decided to build a railway spanning from the port in Mombasa to Lake Victoria. The project was nicknamed the Lunatic Express, since many saw it as a magic. Yo, he's boring you, bro? No. Yo, why are you yawning, you not, I can't yawn. Damn, I'm yawning. Yo, are you yawning to your video, bro? Damn. Damn, don't worry, nah, bro. I'll pick him out Nah, don't be bigger than what it's <laughs> not, nigga. The Lunatic Express, since many saw it as a massive waste of time and resources, along with being unnecessarily dangerous. So dangerous that most African natives refused to be involved in construction. So the British imported thousands of laborers from India to work on the bridge. Mm -hmm. These workers are both unfamiliar with the African brush, along with all the lethal animals in it. It wouldn't be long until several workers would go missing, but at first the British government brushed them off as deserters. Okay. But as the number of missing men grew larger, soon the horrific truth would come out. A pair of maneless male lions had been attacking the unsuspecting workers oh. and eating them. Huh? Lions don't typically view humans as viable prey, and adult lions are actually naturally wary of humans. But lions are also incredibly adaptable, and these lions were hunting the workers like they were gazelle. <laughs> While the men were working on a bridge during the day, the two lions were nowhere to be seen. It wasn't until they turned into their campsites oh, for the night. Oh, they knew what they were doing. These smart. lions would slip into the campsites undetected and drag helpless workers out of their tents to their death. Bro, so you're telling me, okay, so the British said they were deserters, okay. meaning that they thought they left. Okay. So you telling me that the lion snuck up in the camp they and no one them. heard him? Like yeah, no one fact. like nobody said anything? Like, yeah, there's lions out here killing us. Like you should so probably... you tell like yeah, I just thought like yeah, I got up and left. Now they stupid, stupid for me. What was going on back in nineteen whatever he said? Oh, no. 1850 or something. The fuck? Oh. 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 Let's lower this. So nobody heard that. Oh. Oh. They they just walking up the leaf. And it just said I'm on my own business. <laughs> I'm on my own business. Yeah. In one gruesome attack, one of the lions had grabbed a well-respected and powerful sick worker and ragdolled him out of his tent while the other workers could only listen to his bone-chilling screams of agony. The next okay. day, his fellow God workers damn, oh my God. In the position he was sitting in, it appeared as though he had survived. But as the men drew closer, they realized not only was he completely lifeless, but the lions had licked the skin completely off his cheeks, which formed a grisly smile. It's crazy how they can actually do that, though. Because they have, like, some shit on their tongue that can really lick the skin off your body. Nobody told the men that lions can leap well over 10 feet and easily clear a bone. God damn, as the attacks God. and the missing men piled up, the lions Yo, started beast, getting more confident. Bro, At first, weeks would go by between attacks, but soon Soon, fatal maulings would happen almost daily. Oh my God, while yeah. early on, only one of the rogue males would enter the campsite at a time, soon they'd start slaughtering workers together. In one chilling incident, they had moved the site of a hospital which the lions had began targeting. They moved the hospital over a mile away and set up the new hospital as a trap for the lions. Okay. Only a day later, the lions found the new hospital and continued their carnage. Yeah. The lions <laughs> appeared to have plot armor. At one point, they had succeeded in trapping one of the male lions, but when the enraged predator started tearing the trap apart, panicking sepoys opened fire and missed every shot. Nigga, one how? shot managed to spring open the trap door, allowing the lion to slip away. Oh and as the attacks God. persisted, it appeared as though the lions had gone from killing to eat to just killing. We don't know just how many lives were taken, but according they to the Lieutenant John Patterson, 
Facts. And all songs, by the time the construction and the lines were finished. Wait, we wait, don't wait, know for wait, sure. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. They got away with 135 people. Although many claim this number was an exaggeration, it was likely closer to 30, 40. Okay? God damn. But still, though, like, God like, damn. If you know that people around you are getting murked, so many had enough. Me personally, facts. So many had enough. And me personally, I'm not missing, bro. Oh yeah. Like, My I'm shooting. I call back every day. Uh -huh. I definitely hey, not missing. You don't know for sure what led these lions to go on a human hunting spree. One of the lions was found to have an abscess in his teeth, causing a painful infection that may have been too debilitating to hunt his usual prey, mm -hmm. forcing him to seek out easier targets. Us. One theory is that in the past, Arab slave trade caravans would run through Savo, and men that would have made no money on the market, like the old, injured, sick, or dying, would just be tossed down into the brush. Damn. It's possible that these lions of Savo were fed by these crimes against humanity, and learned that humans as a food option was bro. never completely off the table. Damn, that was animal number one. Oh, yeah. July 1985, oh, a yeah, US yeah. Navy heavy cruiser delivered uranium to the island of Tinian for what would end up being the world's first nuclear weapon used in war, which would be dropped in Hiroshima, Japan. Oh, yeah, Japan yeah, yeah, would get its revenge when a torpedo struck the USS Indianapolis as it was en route to the Philippines. In only 12 minutes, the imposing military cruiser was underwater, along with anyone who to yeah. escape in time. Although, considering yeah. what would happen, maybe they were the lucky ones. Because as the stranded crew floated adrift in the Philippine Gulf, they quickly realized they had a major problem. Sharks, Yo. like the oceanic white tips, were stalking the hapless sailors. At first, the sharks simply cleaned up the casualties, feeding on the bodies of the deceased. But soon, they turned their attention to the survivors. As much as the sailors tried to float together, invariably, someone would drift away from the group. That's, That's too much when the water, sharks yeah, would move in. According to survivors, the men would thrash around and scream hysterically before being pulled under. Mm -hmm. And only a short while later, a life jacket would resurface. You're done. Anything wow. else. Dude. And that's a dehydration. Bro, so it's like you being in the middle of the ocean, knowing yeah. like there's life under you, yeah. but you, you at any moment, it. like something could happen to yeah. you. Like, nah, but I think I'll, I'll pass out just off that. Like, oh, thinking God. like something about to eat me. And as a no dehydration, man. intense exposure, and saltwater poisoning took its toll, some men would hallucinate that they were being rescued and would what swim away fuck? from the group towards a ship that wasn't there not realizing they were paddling towards their own death. Oh, yeah. Even worse, some water. of the men would become delirious yeah. and start attacking their fellow shipmates, forcing them to literally cast them off towards the sharks. Oh this my living God. nightmare lasted five days, and when salvation finally came, only 317 out of the 1,196 men could be accounted for. Bruh, Psychological torture didn't end there for some of them. Captain Charles B. McVeigh would become the first captain to ever be court-martialed for losing his ship, and the reasoning? was because he didn't zigzag. <laughs> Even Commander Hashimoto, what the guy that sunk that his ship, testified that there was nothing McVeigh could have done, but it didn't matter. America had its scapegoat, and it was him. McVeigh regularly received hate mail and threats of violence from the family of the fallen. In 2000, he would be exonerated and found to have committed no wrongdoing, but not before the harassment and crippling survivor's guilt would break him. On November 6th, 1968, the captain that had survived war, man-eating sharks, and dehydration took his own life what? while holding a toy sailor he had been given as a boy for good luck. Bruh. The true monsters of this story what do you mean by zigzag? weren't the sharks. Like, oh, no, 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 no. I guess he didn't follow like, a certain protocol yeah. in the water. The most dangerous bear in the world he survived, isn't the grizzly bear, oh, bear. even the polar bear. Mm, but it's mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Sloth bear. Because where adult grizzlies what? and polar bears have no natural predators, Sloth bears regularly run fades with tigers and leopards. Oh, it's not. That generational trauma means you it's have an animal that has all the tools for a predator, you wanna fight but you? the mindset. <laughs> you better not wait. That makes right. them terrified. That nigga ugly. Them. The fact that habitat loss and encroachment causes them to come into constant contact with humans only makes it ten times worse. The sloth bear of Mysore was infamous for unaliving 12 people and Damn. severely injuring another 24. God Damn. Damn. The green claws and a devastating bite. Sloth bears have a nasty habit of attacking the faces of their victims. Mm. Those that survived often lost an eye or a mm. nose or had a chunk of their cheek ripped off. Oh. Those that didn't survive often had their faces torn off completely. Mm. And in oh, some cases, the bear ate the bodies of its victims. A far cry from the insects and fruits below oh, the jungle oh. usually eats. Other bodies recovered had hands missing, and in some cases God their damn. entire chest cavity ripped open. God some damn. described their horrific <laughs> injuries as being the work of an animal with the intent, but not necessarily the knowledge to kill. Kenneth Anderson oh, so he was had attempted doing to his hunt thing, the man, yeah. while also saving a man who had been mauled to the point of sheer incapacitation. As Anderson tried carrying the man to safety, it got dark fast. 
which was probably why he didn't see the rock that tripped him and caused him to break his ankle. Uh the immobilized Anderson survived the night, but the man he tried to save didn't. Anderson would be the one to put the murderous bear out of commission, but we still don't know what made this usually termite-eating bear go full Jeff Dahmer. Maybe it was revenge for a previous <laughs> attack or a lost cub. Maybe everyone has a limit, and that bear hit his. And he woke up and said, I choose violence. Oh, God. He went from termites to humans? It takes place humans? on Ramri Island, off the coast of Myanmar, which borders China, Bangladesh, and India. In 1945, the British pulled up with the intention of establishing a new air base, but first had to contend with the Japanese Imperial Army, which had already captured the island. The British flanked the Japanese, who, rather than surrender, opted to try to escape by cutting through miles of dense, boggy, uncharted mangroves. Mm. As they did, mangroves. the British circled the mangrove swamp, essentially stranding the men to unforgiving A terrain. swamp? Crocodiles. Venomous snakes, spiders, oh, and disease-carrying uh, mosquitoes snakes. were almost an afterthought after the men realized they had waded directly into saltwater crocodile territory. Uh, the details of what happened next have been debated for years. Many say that the up to 20-foot-long cross converged on the defenseless soldiers first picking off the ones that had already passed tense before moving on to the struggling and infirm. One British soldier described hearing three distinct sounds. The incessant firing of rifles overhead, the erratic splashing of excited oh, crocodiles, heck. and the blood-curdling cries of the men being dismembered and oh. devoured. And all you can do is move According forward, him, bro. Like, you got sounds were deafening. Nigga, I'm about to start Google stomping these goddamn the trees, alligators. A couple feet above the marauding reptiles when they made a horrific discovery. Crocs can easily launch themselves several feet out of the water. Yeah. The men that hadn't climbed high enough were caught in those snare trap jaws and torn to shreds. Oh, oh my God. God. Another chilling realization was the intelligence of the cold-blooded predator. According to multiple sources, the crocs would use their tails as battering ramps to slam against the base of the trees, hoping to what? not lose a prize like a twisted human pinata. No. Like, wait, what? They actually smart as hell. What the hell? These crocodiles seem perfectly content to bide their time. We have no way bro. of knowing exactly how many. Bro, that's kind of crazy. Once again, me personally, bro, if I know there's crocodiles on the water, I'm <laughs> hugging that tree. Hey. Because Hey man, they probably didn't know that they could do that shit. Like, but like, how hard? But you know how hard you gotta hit the tree to knock a human down. You know how big alligators can be. The f thing is as big as hell. They be like dragons, bro. It's crazy. Crossing an island, but we do know it was very likely in the several hundreds. We also have no way to confirm just how many were taken by the crocodiles and how many simply flatlined to dehydration, sickness, other wildlife or simply casualties of war. However, this is widely considered to be the most lethal crocodile attack in human history. And since saltwater crocodiles... That's a dragon, bro. Don't tell me that's a crocodile. One of those same crocodiles are still there, are low, but they're not zero. Dragon with no wings. Now imagine if crocodiles had wings. Yo, they've been around for millions of years, no? Yo, they could have been... I mean, you never know. You never know, really. I don't know. Dinosaurs are one of the most stubbornly resilient things on Earth. They've been around for about 200 million years and have barely <laughs> with a wide-ranging diet and few, if any, natural predators. Crocs can be eaten in his own mans? warmth and water. So it makes sense that one of the most infamous animal serial killers of all time was a crocodile. Gustav was an 18-foot reptilian Ted Bundy, rumored to have been responsible for up to 300 names missing from the census. Damn, nigga. According to legend, the massive Nile predator was too bulky to hunt the typical fish, antelope, and zebra leading him to go after bigger, tougher game, like hippos, buffalo, hippos? and humans. The Burundi butcher would allegedly hunt anything that came in. Anyways, winning against a hippo, though, right? How, how do you, but you know how big a hippo is. Yes, right? I'm like, there's no way this nigga's winning against hippos, right? I mean, he put 300 million, I said 300 people. <laughs> hey, I'm fucking, I'm fucking 300 people in the ground, bro. I mean, but a hippo is strong as shit. Yeah, but that's crazy. Like, oh, no. prejudice. And like all crocs, his favorite method of hunting would have likely been lying in wait in the water before exploding and unleashing a 3,000 pound life force to crush whatever was unlucky enough to get caught in its jaws. Before using the infamous death uh, roll to shred that victim into bite sized uh, chunks. See that. It's likely most human casualties were adults collecting water and children playing in the shallow end, not realizing the disturbance was basically ringing the dinner bell. Gustav yeah. was also disturbingly indestructible, with several eyewitnesses describing what they swore were bullet wounds tattooed across its arm. Oh my god. Mind. But the eeriest part was that for a monster nearly the length of a bus, Gustav a was unexplainably never caught. Boys. In one attempt, researchers placed what? a live goat in a cage as bait to lure the beast out. What is that? After a storm, the next morning the cage was wait, empty. Wait, not for real. Wait, what is this? I don't know. Is that crocodile back there too? I don't know, because I can see an eye right there, but I don't know what else. 
is the rest of it though. No, for real. Oh wait. Unless it's the two lump. Like this is an eye and that's an eye. No, no wait, no. Wait, no. <laughs> no I, you no. could be on to something. I don't know. I don't, don't know. Bro, right. What is this view, bro? What is that? Dude, that shit look nasty. Yeah, dude. Oh, Researchers wow. placed a live goat in a cage as bait to lure the beast out. After a storm, the next morning the cage was empty, but Gustav was nowhere to be found. Bro. We don't know how old he is, how long he had been hunting Bro. humans, just how many people had been lost to him, or even if he's still alive. There were some reports of Gustav having been shot by a hunter in 2019, but with no photographic evidence, there's still a chance that he's out there prowling the rivers of Burundi. The way I see it, there's only three possible options. One, he's dead. Two, he's still out there serving as unethical population control. Or three, he has NordVPN. Because NordVPN creates an encrypted tunnel for <laughs> no way. protects your identity by hiding your IP <laughs> Allowing you to go on. No he changed his location with NordVPN. Yo, he's uh, always good at that. He's good at segueing into that stuff, bro. It is. Hey, NordVPN, Casual Geographic. Yeah. Get that 20%, whatever. It's casual oh. Geographic for a huge discount on a two-year plan with an there additional four mm. months free. Boom. With Nord's money-back guarantee, it's virtually risk-free. Boom. Nothing about Gustav was risk-free. And with Salty's having the strongest recorded bite force of any animal, the only guarantee was that anything caught in those vice grip jaws was something you're not getting back. Hmm. Bro, the length of a bus, bro. Think about it. That's some scary movie type shit. Yo, that's a in whole monster. Oh, locals in Malawi were so terrified of one animal that it drove 4,000 of them to completely abandon their villages to oh, seek damn. refuge. The marauding beast had mauled three people into chalk outlines and severely disfigured another 16. God. Those that survived were essentially crippled for life, with oh. some missing both hands and legs, with others missing eyes and ears. And Excuse me? From attack, a woman had gotten her jaw completely detached. Yo, what? The nah, what so it? feared and avoided oh, capture for so long that some believe like that the hammer? attacks were the work of a supernatural creature. In truth, these people were being stalked and hunted by a rabid hyena. This Although ugly Iran ass thing. The most devastating bite of any land mammal. Hyenas are actually wary of humans. Ain't but as no many way. will tell you, anything that gets rabies quickly becomes a different kind of animal. Especially when that animal has jaws. Huh? That's not a an elephant. Elephant foot? How the hell you rip off an elephant foot? Nah, that had but to be you know, a big, uh, An elephant or maybe a baby elephant? Nah, that's not no baby <laughs> elephant feet, I think. Yo, bro. I'm like a big boy. Yes, sir. Oh. Bro, how is that possible, bro? I don't know. Nah, these animals is different. It quickly becomes a different kind of animal, especially when that animal has jaws strong enough to amputate an elephant. Nah. The rabbit hyena terrorized the people of Malawi for weeks, but whether the actual animal responsible for the maimings was caught and killed was never confirmed. Oh. Um. The most infamous animal mass murderer of all time okay. lived in Nepal in the Kamawan district of India. The Bengal tiger of Chumbo oh, tiger, is believed to be responsible for 436 less people on earth. According to research, the carnage started in Nepal, but when hunters were called in, the tiger successfully evaded all of them. Bruh. Eventually, she was driven out of the area and swam across a river and invaded India, where the attacks only got worse. The homicidal big cat would typically target young women and children, and would damn. often travel up to 20 miles following the kill, making it that much harder to capture her. And unlike most tigers who typically hunt bro. during dusk or dawn, the man-eater at Champawat almost exclusively caught bodies during broad daylight. She became so reviled that <laughs> locals no longer refer to her as a cat, but as the devil of India. Oh, oh that's loud. That was loud. That, 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 that got me, bro. That got me. Oh, love, bro. That was loud for real. Bro, traveling 20 miles for one. <laughs> Yo, chill. <laughs> for one person? That's Tigers the type of termination. I'm going to lie. Yeah. Entire villages, with grown men refusing to leave their huts to go to work. <laughs> Lest a rampaging predator turn them into a statistic. Mm? It was believed just, that the tigress had been shot by an especially cruel hunter, which broke several of her canine teeth, leaving Damn. her mortally wounded. It's likely that this injury, along with the fact that tigers are one of the few animals that'll actively seek revenge, that drove the tiger to eventually start seeking out easier prey. Huh. People. And oh, as a highly intelligent predator, she was constantly adapting and able to consistently avoid capture. When she was finally taken down, it was clear from the nasty injuries the tiger had sustained that she was not the villain of this story. Oh that doesn't God. change the fact that she went out as the most prolific man murker in nature. And if you think you're safe because you don't live in Asia, just keep in mind that there are more tigers in the United States than in the rest of the world. Uh, bro, imagine I'm in New York and I'm just in the tree. Like, I'm like, yo, what are you doing here, my nigga? Bro, imagine going on a walk and you see, like, through a park, you see a tiger on a tree. 
I'll be dead. I'm, I'm done. I'll be dead. I'm about to bro. There's no way. I, nah, I'll be tired. I'm about, yo, what the f you doing? Yo, here, bro? The, oh, <laughs> come at you, bro. I don't even. Can you swing at that? Probably mid air. You go like. Yeah, if it's a if it's a, a male tiger, definitely I'm ripping your balls off. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta grab it in here, bro. Hate, nigga. I hear that. Oh, oh that, that was, was lit. That was yeah. lit. That was lit, bro. Yeah, we definitely gotta have some 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 IQ from that. I tell yeah. you that right now. You See, know yeah, this is another example of another video that's fire, bro. Oh God. Yeah, you, know you just you know just learning about animals is. It's, it's interesting. Nice. It's Very interesting. interesting yeah. Man. All right, but anyway, man, you don't like me. You can't like me. You're not like it. Oh, you get me the fuck up now. Say, bro, listen, bro. Actually, I don't got time for this. <laughs> fuck off, nigga. Out of here. All right, actually, listen. Oh, First shit. of all, y'all better like the video. Yeah. Because if y'all don't, I'm gonna give a tiger. Uh huh. NordVPN. Oh. Just put him to your house. Oh. Change his location. Oh. Drop him at your front door, and that's it. You're done. Oh. So stop hating. So stop, stop. Oh, you finna get your ass ate, boy. Yeah, stop hating, hey, boy. Hey, yo, though. Hey, yo, that's it, yo. <laughs>